Good afternoon. Welcome to another installment of the Yard of the Week. We are over here in beautiful Carrollton, Texas. Can't believe I'm saying that. Wow. To do our largest residential property right here. It is this, all of this. And there's a pretty sizable backyard as well. Spoiler alert. Normally, this is just a mow edge trim cleanup kind of deal. However, today, they're also tackling these bushes right here. These little holly shrubs all along the side. So, I'm gonna get out to start with my uh, Echo battery powered, uh, what's it called? The D Pass 2100 series here. The uh, battery powered, uh, smaller of the two combi attachment heads. Uh, I've been using the battery powered. Uh, Sorry, I gotta unlock things here to get this battery. Eventually, I'm gonna design it a little bit different to where it's a little easier to, to get out of here and use, but it's working for now. I've been using this battery powered uh, 2100 for the, uh, for the hedge trimmer. And uh, I've been really impressed with it so far. Um, doesn't have the torque that the uh, 2600s do, obviously. So it's not nearly as good for uh, edging or trimming. I don't like it at all for trimming. It's terrible for trimming. And it's average for edging, decent. But let me tell you, that 2600 blows it away. <clears throat> that being said... It does pretty, it does really well as a hedge trimmer. I've been really impressed with it so far. I'm gonna get this started, probably do a lot of time-lapse videos at this property just because it's gonna take me, it's gonna take me a little while to do it. So, enjoy. Give y'all an idea how much weed eating this is. It's a lot of weed eating. This part is new. This has not been here before. Saves me a little bit of time.
Yeah, the back, unfortunately, is a lot of weeds. A lot of places where it was. It used to be St. Augustine, but didn't make it. Around the little shed there. You can see why this is my largest, my largest property. A lot of, a lot of backyard here. This was a full battery when we started the property. Now we're at one bar. <laughs> now granted we did trim hedges, but still. Whew. Might not even have to move that, in all honesty, there's nothing, nothing green around it. All right. Almost done with the trimming. Edging was done. Shrubs were trimmed. We just have the mowing after that. A couple little cracks right here. Now we do the rest of the front side here. And then we're gonna get the mower. Give you an idea of how I get in the backyard on this one. Like a jigsaw puzzle. Ooh. Home stretch now. Gotta get everything cleaned up here.
Oh man. That was a big one. This is a yard where you definitely need a backpack blower. A good powerful backpack blower to get it done. I've used the I have used the little echo battery blower on it a few times, but it's it's just not uh, not good for it. Not adequate. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big believer in the uh, battery powered equipment. Sometimes you just need a little gasoline power. Gasoline power, you know? Oh boy. <coughs> One quick last walk around and we are done. Let's grab our cones here. Ooh. Something good I've been carrying for a little while on the truck. Johnny with Blades of Grass. I kind of took that idea from him, his channel. So as you can see the front, how much space there actually is, you know. It's it's a it's a massive yard. <laughs> it's uh I got here at 1245ish and it's uh 1 150. So it's been here a little over an hour. That gate's secured, all right. Looks like we're done. Everything looks good. So yeah, this concludes our uh, Yard of the Week. Thank you for watching and see you next time.